Let's see if I can remember how to spell it. A. A. Lone. A M O R T I Z Asian. Lone amortization. All right. All this does is it breaks down every single payment into two pieces. How much of the payment is interest? How much of the payment is going towards your principal? And then it, it kind of does that um, US rule that we did the other day, and that's why I did it. So that when we got to this point, it's a little bit easier. So over here, we're going to have um, payment number. Um, then we're going to have the payment, which is always the same, so that's always constant. From that, we're going to find the interest. So I'll make that column a little bit bigger. After that, we are going to find um, what's left over, which will reduce our, our principal. And then finally, over here, uh, balance. So payment number one. We're going to use, um, who is this, Joe? Joe? Yeah. Jack? Yeah. Jack and Jill? Uh, <laughs> We're going to use Joe's loan. And he was paying $349.23 a month. So his first payment is going to go in, and it's going to be $349.23. And then he's going to earn, well, interest on his loan. Um, the interest is going to be, of course, PRT. As long as we're talking about one month of this loan, we could talk about it as simple interest. We cannot talk about it as simple interest past one month. So you can't use I equals PRT to figure out how much interest you're paying on a loan because it's changing all the time. But within a month, you can use I equals PRT because T would be equal to well, a month. And that's perfectly fine. So our interest here is going to be our principal. If I remember right, that was 22000 to start with. The interest rate was 0 0.045? Yes. And the time, of course, is one month. Better known as one out of 12. And you type that in your calculator to get an answer. So we never get too far away from simple interest. It's get, it gets used a lot. Beating it up. <laughs> so you get how much interest? $82 and 50 cents. So when it gets to this first payment, the bank is going to want their interest first. So where are they going to take the $82 and 50 cents? Well, they're going to reduce it from your payment. So you're going to take your 349, 23, I'm just showing all the steps, minus 82, 50. <coughs> And what's left is 266.73. This part, these two numbers, when I took a, a bank loan, a car loan from uh, the credit union, they would send me a statement. They would not show me this number. They do not show you your payments. What they show you is how much of your payment went to interest, how much of your payment went to the principal. Those are the two numbers they show you. It confused me for a while because I'm like, wait a minute, I paid this much. Why are they only showing me these two smaller numbers? But then I got smart and I added them together and went, oh, yeah. But that's how they break it apart. They show you how much interest you're paying for the monthly payment, and they show you how much your principal is going to get reduced. So if your principal is going to get reduced, you're starting with $22,000, your balance, and you're losing $266.73. Ooh, 22,000. And we end up with a new balance of 21733.27. All of that just for the first payment. And then you go to payment number two, and I'm just going to go really quickly through it. Payment number two, you make $349.23 payment. You're going to get interest on 
21,000 by the U.S. rule, you can reduce your principal. So 21,733.27 times your interest rate times 1 over 12. 2173.27 times 0.045 divided by 12. And now you're paying interest of $81.50. What happened to the interest? It drops. Every payment, it just drops a little bit. And by the end of it, it's going to be like a dollar or two. By the very end of this loan, because you're only going to be giving interest on uh, maybe $700 at the end, and then it'll be $300 and whatever, well, three forty nine twenty three, and then you'll be done with the loan. Uh, that last payment is always a little iffy. It depends on how the payment got rounded. If it got rounded up, you paid too much over time, and that last payment will be smaller. It could have been rounded down, and that last payment could be bigger. But I think they usually make them bigger so that your last payment is smaller. So how you get with them giving twenty one seventy three for a personal What, here? Mm. Yeah, you take... This is how much of your payment out of the three forty nine. This is how much eighty two dollars is how much I know eighty two dollars of it is going to the bank automatically. They're just taking that as their profit. Out of your payment, what's left is the two sixty six, and that's going to reduce your principal. So three forty nine is not reducing your principal. They want part of it to go towards interest, and the rest of it, whatever is left over, goes towards your principal. So it's a smaller number. And then you take that away from your twenty-two thousand, and you end up with a smaller per balance, but not as small as it should have been mm -hmm. without the interest. Here, you're going to have to pay eighty-one fifty out of the three forty-nine. So you come over here and you go three forty-nine twenty-three minus eighty-one fifty, and then what your remaining stuff is two sixty-seven seventy-three. Don't trust any of you. Two sixty-seven. <laughs> By the way, where were you last class? I don't hear you at all. <laughs> and we're going to reduce the 21,000 by this number. So 21,733.47. And now we're down to 21,454 cents. And we can keep doing this for, what is it, 72 payments? Yeah. And eventually that balance should come out to be zero or very, very close to zero. It could be negative, it could be positive, and then you just might have to owe a little balloon payment. But that's a loan amortization.